In this tutorial, I'm going to be recording audio to a track. I'm going to be using this guy here, the Guitar One, and my guitar is plugged into input one of my audio device, so I just need to make sure that that's it. Now I need to record arm the track. I can do that by clicking on this red button here. It record arms the track, plus it enables the monitor. What this means is that I'll be able to monitor the incoming signal of the guitar. So when I play on the guitar, I can hear it, but when I disable this, I don't hear it, but you can still see the signal coming into the track there. And just make sure that you've set the gain amounts correctly on your input device. If you set them too hot, it will clip the audio. For example, if I drive the preamps on this guitar track here, you'll see it goes into the red and the guitar sounds digitally distorted. So I'm just gonna drop the level on my guitar and click this area in the top here to reset the meter. I just wanna double check my metronome settings before recording. So I'll go to the metronome setup dialog box. And what I wanna do is add a pre-count of one bar. And I want the click to play in the pre-counts as well. What I also wanna do is duplicate this drum loop across the timeline. I'm gonna select it, hold down option on the Mac, drag it across and then hold shift to shift it back onto the grid. I'm just gonna drag up here on the timeline so I can see the arrangement a bit more and create some more duplicates. And in the top here, these are the left and right loop locators. I'm gonna drag the right one all the way down to bar nine and hold down shift to snap it to bar nine. And I'm just gonna make sure that down here in the transport control that looping is enabled. Now I'm gonna select the guitar track and I'm gonna record. Here's the pre-counts of one bar. So that's my first recorded audio part in my song. Now I'm gonna disable the monitor and record button and if I hover my mouse over here, I can drag the track heights up so I can see the waveform more clearly. And it looks like there's a good decent amount of headroom in that track, so I'm happy with that. And for the heck of it, let me record another guitar part on this Guitar 2 track. It's going to go to input 1 as well, and let me enable the record arm and monitor buttons. So now I've got two guitar parts in my song. So that's how to record audio into your tracks. Next up, let's take a look at these toolbox features up over here and how they can be used to edit your audio.